Good morning, everybody from Haco, Costa Rica. My name is Sonia Morant. I am originally from Connecticut in the United States. And today I'm gonna to be showing you around where I live, what I do. I moved to Costa Rica five and a half, six months ago. So as you can see, I'm just waking up. This is Sonia, fresh, fresh out of the bed here. And that's because I work late at night, I teach late, I sing late, I have different jobs here and they all require me to be up late. So I get to sleep in the day in the morning time because I don't really have any commitments. So this is kind of like my routine, my schedule. I just tend to, to wake up late in the mornings because I'm up really late at night. These birds though, they wake me up every day. I'm not exaggerating. They like come and bang on my window. They, they, yes, I see you. Yeah. So this, this is, this is really my mornings. Every Away from this bird's face. Ah, here they come making noise. Do you see the noise I'm talking about? They hook on. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is every morning. I'm not kidding. All right, so these are the leftovers I'm making right now. Yesterday I made a chickpea curry with peas, potatoes, cauliflower, a whole bunch of good stuff. Um, it's really cheap to buy food and groceries in Costa Rica if it's natural, like vegetables and fruits and stuff like that. All right, hey guys, so I'm gonna do a quick little apartment tour, really, really quick. So I live in a studio apartment. This is kind of what it looks like here. Here's the bathroom. I've got the little kitchen area over here. And when you leave the apartment, this is what you see. These are all my neighbors. This is my backyard area. We've got the pool, laundry down this way, and my bike is down there. And as far as prices go, so my apartment is $400 a month, including everything Wi-Fi. All right, so this is my street. And here we have the apartment buildings and my bike. So what I do is ride my bike basically everywhere here. All right, so this is my gym that I go to. It's a one minute bike ride from my house. And this is the main strip of town actually. So everything that you would possibly need is just on this one street here. And it's pretty, pretty easy. And I'm gonna answer everyone's questions as soon as I leave the gym. I just got here. I do, I kind of have a strict routine with my workouts and who I train with. So as soon as I'm done and I leave here, I'm going to head to the beach and answer everyone's questions. Um, me regalo de cario frutas con yogurt y pequeño. Pequeño. Sí, gracias. This place is the best for smoothies. The best, 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 best. All right, here we go. The beach, like I said, very close to my home, to everything, to the main strip. because I kind of moved here with the intention of having other jobs and not only having English teaching be my went to Southern Connecticut State University. I ran track and field. I got my bachelor's in mental health psychology and I graduated this past May and once I graduated I packed my stuff up and moved to Costa Rica. This question's interesting because I don't know the answer to this question but also because I I kind of moved here with the intention of having other jobs and not only having English teaching be my It's too loud at the beach. So, Jason, how nice is this? We're gonna be sitting here and chatting. I actually teach gymnastics up here, up above, so 
I also have another job here where I coach. Okay, so what I was saying was basically I moved to Costa Rica with no plans really to have other jobs. I just wanted to get my teaching certificate. I got certified with ITA Costa Rica in Heredia and I highly recommend it. Luke and Melanie are amazing, amazing instructors. Um, and once I was there, I took that month to figure out what I wanted to do, traveled around a little bit. I came to Hako and I fell in love with this place and there was a really big music scene here. And for me, my full-time job back in the States was music. I'm a singer, so I knew that would be a great way for me to kind of get my way in to the scene here. And now that's really my main source of income because I'm singing almost every night. So I definitely think if you have other talents or things that you're good at, don't think that you're not going to be able to do them in a foreign country because you can't speak the language. Everything in person. I came to Hako for the second weekend to explore because I knew I wanted to live here. I found my apartment that day. It was so easy. I saw three places and this, the last place was the place for me. Same thing with my teaching job. I just went in person and got the job. I feel extremely safe being away from home. I have, I love Hako and the friends I've made here are all local people. Like I don't have any friends who are from the States here and it's just incredible. I mean like it's such an amazing place. School I teach at is a private school called EPI Language School, and my class, my um, I had no preference really. I truly didn't care. Um, so it's not really grade levels. These are like adults who I teach or people my age. And I'm 22 years old, so anywhere from. Yes, but that has nothing to do with my teaching necessarily. Like I said, I chose to teach part time because I have other things here that I do as far as singing every night. I teach gymnastics up here because I did gymnastics for 16 years. I do social media marketing. And to touch on that a little more, um, there are so many people here who I've met who don't speak Spanish, but they're bartenders, they work in the restaurants, they, they, there's so many other ways that you can make money in addition to teaching if you're concerned. And to touch on that a little more, um, there are so many people here who I've met who don't speak Spanish, but they're bartenders, they work in the restaurants, they, they, there's so many other ways that you can make money in addition to teaching if you're concerned about not being able to save enough you know a month after teaching here but you can definitely it's so doable to, to work full-time as a teacher and save money I mean I know many people who do that I just don't know what the how much the income would be for that because I don't do that but it's you can do it I mean you can do anything really if you want to live here or if you want to live in a foreign country there you can make money and you can do it you just have to be proactive and really go out and, and look for what you want and find a way I say try either one, honestly, um, but definitely in person. If you walk into any of these schools here and you're a native English speaker, you're most likely going to get hired on the spot. It's, it's. I mean, there's been, and even pri people ask me for private lessons all the time. There's work out with EPI. I get paid 4,000 colonas an hour, which is almost $7 an hour. This is pretty low. I mean, it's good for where I live, you know, for the price range of living here. Um, but like I said, I chose that. It's a conversational class, very easy side money for me. Scene is great. I'm actually going to bring you guys tonight. I have to sing and perform in a green room tonight. And it's a local spot where they have live music every night. Everyone goes. It's super fun. I mean, all the restaurants here have live music. So it's truly, truly, truly amazing. That's why I moved to Hako. <laughs> next place Thailand 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 and they have a pretty good music scene there too and I think I'd be able to do and make money with my music in Thailand as well so that's the plan none everything here was like word of mouth and when I got to Hako I just 
I mean, they, when, even during the interview, they didn't even ask me for my resume. They didn't ask me for anything. He was just like, you're hired. That's it. Like, there was nothing required prior. I moved here. My Spanish was not good, like, at all. Could, couldn't hold a conversation. Been here six months. I've, I, it's improved so much. I don't think you need it really um, to, to teach. You don't need it at all. Not at all. So I was teaching eight hours a week. Now I'm only teaching once a week because I am so busy with my other jobs. So it's only like two hours. But that's, again, through choice, not... to say Hako has it's like it's like a big city small town feel like I already know everyone in the town it's just so amazing and it's not too touristy but it's not like not touristy at all there's definitely a lot of English speakers here because there's so much this is oh don't hit me this is an example of what the center of town looks like I go grocery shopping here gymnastics over there I sing up here, I sing over there, and we have so much amazing food. And then, literally every street to your left is where the beach is. So, you know, it's like less than 200 meters of a walk to the beach. And yeah, there's just so much to do. So I'm going back to the beach because I answered everyone's questions. And a thing called Artify Hako. So almost all the walls here have like amazing paint artwork that artists have done and they, the whole point is to try to make the entire city or town it's not really a city town colorful first of all thank you so much so so nice of you i'm back at the beach sorry um so yeah you can come here no problem for two months definitely uh, you just can't be here for more than three months at a time i have to leave the country every three months for like a day two days or so okay i'm going to get food you can see the mountains in the horizon here. We have um, really awesome like jungles 10 minutes from here. No, I'm not vegan. However, I prefer vegan vegetarian dishes and I'll eat meat like maybe once a week or once every two weeks. Um, it's just like not a main part of my diet. We're heading back into town. We're gonna sing tonight. This is my view. Always out on the bike. And it's super safe. I am signing off everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It's actually an early night for me, surprisingly. So thank you guys again. I'm riding my bike home. Almost to my apartment. Thank you guys so much. Bye -bye.